Oh, the day after that big storm, and I've looked over my car, all I can really find on it, and the phone rings again, fuck off, is a dent on the front here, and a couple along the top here. But apart from that, we're fine. Hey viewers, oh, I just got this 2000 model V6 Camry here. Um, it's doing oil and filter changes to it, just checking it over. Needs front tyres and front brake. Uh, just doing the fuel filter at the moment. Definitely needs an air filter. It's always good to check on these, make sure, or any EFI really, check the throttle body. And this one needs a clean as you can see. It's around the throttle plate, it gets gummy. So, I'll that that needs doing. These engines do go quite hard. Bit of fun for a front wheel drive. Oh yeah, it's just a good idea to release the fuel cap if you're working on any fuel systems, especially in hot weather. That way I can't pressurise the system and push fuel out everywhere. I got that filter out and it seems quite blocked because it couldn't even drain itself. It stayed full. So, I'll just uh, blow it out and see what comes out of the nasty thing. Yeah, there's a fair bit of resistance there. Yeah. Well, good, good call. <laughs> I just guessed that it needed one. Bought it all before I picked up the car. Ugh. There we go, all that's back together again. There's a fuel filter down there. I just find it easier to take all that off. They're usually that fucking tight. Hmm. Oh, not much more to say about this. Oh, I'll time to do the oil filter. And these ones, yeah, it's a prick to get the tool in there unless you've got the claw. Sometimes a prick to use because it hits the suction line on the aircon. But most oil filters, I just do this. Just grab the bloody thing as hard as you can and just start twisting. And if you're strong enough, you'll get it. If the prick before you hasn't tightened it too much, there we go, loose. Easy as that. You just tighten it by hand. Don't reef it up, otherwise you'll never get it off again. And the engine stabilizer bar here has split the rubber. So that needs doing. It's very common on these. Oh, start her up and fill up the oil filter. Now we go check for leaks. Oh, oh good, no leaks. Time to test drive it and take it back. Cool. Well, now the camera is delivered, I can drive this back. Oh god, I wished I had fixed all that up. But now the rest of the system's not in yet. Damn, here, humid and hard today. Yeah. I always rely on germinal technology. I'm just sitting here after servicing the car thinking, oh not again. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna get wet again. Because I'm around there. So hmm. half now, I'll be wet. I'm driving back on petrol again because all this humidity and low pressures have just screwed my gas completely. Now it does its backfire if you try to accelerate. The petrol's got its drawbacks too. If you try and accelerate, all you do is wheel spin. So, I'm going to try and turn the corner now, sedately, and see how far I make it. Fun. 